hello guys welcome back to our channel with agitations everywhere and sustained agitation by the indigenous people of biafra it's only normal for political elites to actually want the presidency to look into the issue of ipop before it goes beyond this level but before we go into the news proper and further analysis we like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well a former governor of abia state who is representing abia central in the senate senator theodore theodore Oje, has asked the president major general muhammad buhari retired to dialogue with the leadership of the indigenous people of biafra to avoid further trouble in the country or stated this in an interview with journalist in abuja on sunday as part of his activities to mark his birthday 70th birthday the senator said dialogue with dissented voices including the indigenous people of biafra ipob remains one of the best ways to achieve peace in the south Geo southeastern geopolitical zone he noted that the Igbo, which has been crying of marginalization over the years deserved a listening ear rather than use of force he said if there are dissent voices this is uh, dissent voices the president should call them and discuss with them he should find out the cause of the agitation and work out ways to address their grievances he should see how he can bring them in full in, you should say I can bring them in and fully integrate them into the system. That is what will solve the problem of the country. Call for voices that are agitating to a conference. There's nothing bad in discussing with the IPOBs, with the IPOBs and Biafran agitators. If you don't discuss with them, they will continue to give you trouble. We can't be happy when other regions have six states and we have five. It, should, it shows that we are marginalized and cheated. That is what is causing the agitation in the region. I'm afraid, sir, it's actually beyond that. Let's continue. Some groups are agitating that the zone should be a country on its own. Others are demanding restructuring because it is glaring that the Southeast is being marginalized. If you treat me fairly, like you treat other persons, and I'm convinced that you are sincere, I will not complain. It is when I look around me and I see that I am being marginalized and treated like a second class citizen, that would make people that would make people to be agitated. Oji maintained that the Southeast geopolitical zone remained marginalized, being the only region with just five states and the major tribe that had not produced a president of Nigeria since 1999. He said restructuring remained the only way out of the country's social, economic, and political crisis. He said, my advice on how to move the country forward is already on the table, and that is restructuring and resource control. The issue of resource control should be addressed because the resources are coming from the same people who are agitating. You won't expect us to keep quiet when we are producing and you are not giving us enough. Governor Yeson Wike is shouting every day because Niger Delta people are not getting the required attention they require as oil producing region. We know the areas that are sensitive. On additional states, for the Southeast, Oji said, that is why we want to take the advantage of the ongoing constitution review process, con constitution review process to push for the creation of an another additional state so that we could have at least six states like other geopolitical zones. He said, we will do everything possible to abide by the constitution so that we will make it a reality. We are not keeping quiet on the matter at all all right that is um what uh, oji kalu oji has said and it's if you check it well uh, other than one statement he made that i may fought a little that's where he said um the reason why 
IPOB or the Indibos agitated thing is because they have made their state only five. Why it should actually be at least six, judging by other um regions. Other regions had uh, other regions have at least six states, and being that Igbo is a major language, a major tribe, we had three major tribes or three major languages: Igbo, Yoruba, and Hausa. And Igbo happened to be a major language, and it's just having five states. Uh, so on that basis, I want to quickly chip in this. Um, it goes beyond extra states. Uh, it is yes, you may see it as a form of marginalization since the other states are other regions are having six states and South is having one state is a sign of marginalization. No, it goes beyond that. Southeast in particular have not produced presidency since nineteen ninety nine, which he, during the for democracy and the democratic elected presidents, which is what he said. And the fact that so many other things are involved, they are when it comes to um, the issue of projects, some persons will say, eh, Buhari, President Mohammed Buhari have done enough for them. They have second, um, second Niger Bridge and all that. The question is, when was it done? Look at other regions. Compare what is happening in the Southeast to other regions. Real, how far have they gone with real? When they were collecting loans in the name of Nigeria, how many was allocated to Southeast? None. There's a particular loan that... I was surprised. The, it was so glaring. Other regions had everything from the loan. Southeast was deliberately omitted. These are signs that causes agitation. And this is coming from a, a, a senator saying, look, if you do not want trouble, because these guys will not stop, they will not cease. He was specific. IPOB. He said, look, if, if there's nothing wrong with it, if you can actually look at um, Boko Haram, who have caused... A lot of mayhem has caused um, IDB camps to be created almost in every part of northern region. And yet they pamper them with kids' gloves. Whenever they say they have repented, they absorb them, treat them, give them correctional treatment, and even recoup them into the military. Such, such a treatment. In fact, such a royal treatment, if you ask me, for a terrorist group. And yet IPB asks Nothing, something, nothing. They're not even asking for something similar. They only say, Look, since you are not giving us any reason, give us Biafra. Why treat them like a quickly prescribe them? I'm not saying that uh, them being it's because they have been peaceful for a long time and nobody has been listening. All audios of Kalu is saying, Bring them to the round table, discuss with them. There are a lot of things that can get solved with just dialogue. But sometimes we, we feel that dialogue is a sign of weakness. No, but dialogue is strength in itself. But a lot of persons believe, no, it has to be a use of force. Use of force may not get us, but look at what is happening with the issue of NSAS, hashtag NSAS protest. Now we are hearing, we move. We are hearing second wave is coming because youth are getting really angry. That so CBN can actually find a way of freezing protesters' uh, uh, accounts when they can actually uh, freeze uh, corrupt politicians who have stolen so much, but they don't somehow BVN is always difficult to to to, to find out in that process. But when it comes to NSAS protest, uh, protesters, they were able to locate all this thing very quickly without even you know sweating. How many corrupt politicians have they brought to book? How many have they prosecuted? None. Let's get real here. And now these guys are saying, and he's telling him, look, he's telling the president, look, it won't stop and it won't go away because their marginalization is really glaring. If you want it to go away, we want it to stop, call them all together and ask them what you see. It's increasing. We have Fulani headsmen. How many of them have been uh, reprimanded? None. None has been reprimanded. None have brought, been brought to book, despite even some of the... Some messes, uh, there was an article they wrote that there are actually uh, militias, Fulani militias that are not Nigerians that have found their way in that they weren't causing problems. And for that reason, we can't identify them. What we, since we can't identify them, those who know them should fish them out so that there will be peace in the land. Now, the question now, Jesus can be saying, say, look, you don't feel too spectacular. Just call these guys if you want quietness to reign in the land. Call them and ask them why are they agitated. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. What's the take on what Oji, Tilda Oji is saying? That the president is actually advising the president. He's telling him, look, call them now. <laughs> now that there is peace, then now that there's a window period, call them now. Before it goes beyond this level. 
and if you ask me it's not a bad advice so that we can you know reduce the level of agitation now we have NSAIDs in our hands and it's not cut off it's not stopping anytime soon in fact they're thinking of a second wave that's we're gonna wrap it up let's meet in our comment section what's the take on what OG Tioda OG has told the presidency to do now so that he can r reduce the level of agitation and see how he can stop what may likely come up in the future